welcome back to my channel it's been a little while since i posted something right here but today i'm back and i'll be sharing with you how you can use canva and cricut design space so just a little overview cricut is actually a cutting machine where you can design your anything actually anything under the sun you can design on cricut you can cut cardboard you can cut card stocks you can cut fabric even if you have a cricut maker and you can cut vinyl you can cut htvs or heat transfer vinyls removables permanent vinyls and all that stuff but um you can go to google search for cricut or Cricut, whatever you pronounce it or however you say it, and you will be acquainted with the machine that I'm talking about. So I recently got mine. I've been having a good time playing with it and just exploring it and designing stuff, using it and cutting things like there's no tomorrow. So are you ready? Let's get started. So I thought about ways for me to be able to design my thing on canva so i decided to try and design on canva and then upload that on the cricut design space the cricut design space is a place where you can design your projects before you cut them on your machine you are also allowed to do a print and cut option and um, i think i'm going to discuss that in another video in this video i'm just going to show you how you can simply use canva and then upload your finished file to your design space so the cricut design space is actually free to you so um, even if you don't have the cricut machine yet you can install it already on your phone or your ipad or your laptop and then once you have your cricut machine already then you can use it to design your layout so here's what we're going to do we're actually going to design a very very simple design but of course the principle is there and you can apply that into much more complex designs if you want to so i'm going to click on create a design and then i'm going to choose just a square file um instagram post for that matter that's 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels all right and then i'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to look for um, the word Canva. So actually it's here already, the type logo of Canva. So just type Canva and then all the things Canva related will be here. Now you can choose this if you want, just a simple one and know that it's white. So it's not visible right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. So I like just using black. For my cricut designs there you go because it doesn't really matter um what the color is if you are cutting um it's just for visibility and for you to just know um the that the colors of your design are actually on the same um, color now since i have canva pro i'm able to remove the background right here but of course you can always remove your background in the design space in cricut as well but since i have that feature in canva already why not use it <laughs> all right so I click on download and of course i'm gonna choose png so by principle if you want a transparent background you have to download your file as png if you download your file as jpeg the program will actually determine that you want a picture, so a plain picture, and there's a background to that. So in this instance, our background is white. So if you download this file as JPEG, your file will have a white background. So again, if you want a transparent background, then you have to download it as png so there i'm going to click transparent background so the background will disappear and click on download and by the way before i click on download you see here that there's a crown again in canva if there's a crown that means it's for canva pro users only all right i'm going to click on download and while it's downloading i'm going to quickly let you know if you want to try the canva pro free trial you can just um Put this in your URL, bit.ly forward slash Canva Pro Creatives. Okay, so you will have 30-day free trial for Canva Pro if you use that link. All right, so I'm going to X out of that box. And then here in my downloads folder, the design is already there and it's in PNG format. Now I'm going to go to my Cricut Design Space quickly. 
And here we are. I'll click on upload image. But before that, let me let you know that you can upload JPEG, GIF, which is not animated, of course, uh, because you can't cut an animated file. And then a PNG file, a BMP file, and um, the most... Um, perfect file for you to upload is actually an svg file that's the file of choice and you may also use a dxf file now i'm going to click on upload right now so we can upload our canva image and i'll click on browse and i'm going to our file and here you go as you can see it has transparent background already but just to make sure that there's no background i'm gonna choose moderately complex so that i can check my file if all is good but then again this is already all good there's no background anymore but you know me i have to make sure everything works okay and then i'm gonna click on continue and again confirm verify there's no background at all and i'll click on preview as you can see there's nothing so i'm just going to click on continue right now and then it tells us right here there are two options one is to print and cut your image so you will be sending this to your printer via the cricut design space and then once you're done printing you're gonna get your sticker paper or whatever material that you want to print on and then Put that on top of your Cricut mat and then you cut it or you can just simply cut the image. For this tutorial, we're just going to cut the image and then click on save. All right, it's there already in our uploaded images. So I'm going to highlight that by clicking it and then click on insert images right here at the bottom right corner. And we are now in our design area. Okay, so the design area, if you are not familiar with, there's actually rulers right here so you know what the size of your design is. Now, a mat in Cricut has a 12 by 12 in size. So there's also a 12 by 24, but if you want to make it bigger, by all means, you can just um, separate your design into different areas, all right, in your um, design space. But here, I'm just going to be conservative and just going to design a three, uh, 3 inches by 7 inches. All right, there you go. It's going to fit on the mat perfectly. If you want it bigger, again, that's possible. If you want to make it smaller, that's also possible. And then I'm not going to print this anymore. This would go straight to the cutting machine. And how do I do that? I'll just have to make sure um, that everything is in order. All good with the design, nothing more to add. Of course, you can add other images if you want. I'm going to quickly show you that right now. If you want to add some shapes here, just click on the shapes menu and you can see the shapes that you can add here. If you want to add, let's say, a heart because you really love Canva, just click on heart. Okay, and then where do we put it? I think I'm going to put it right here on top of the A. All right, and then check the size reference also. So that your heart is not bigger than your Canva. And then, of course, here in the line type, I'm going to choose just a black color so they're the same. And then I'm going to weld this together so that they will not be separated when they are cut. I mean, when it's separated, of course, they're separated because there's, they're not linked together. What I meant is that it's not going to separate for the other options or the other areas of the mat for that matter. All right. Now, say for example, I don't want a heart. I'm just going to remove it. So just um, highlight and then you can X out of it. And then there you go. Poof, it's gone. So we're just going to cut this one. And I won't be able to show you as the machine works on it because this tutorial is only um, showing you how you can integrate Canva with Cricut Design Space. So there to make it, just click on make it. There you go. This is the preview on the mat. So um, this is a 12 by 12 mat. If you are printing it on cardstock or if you are going to print it on a glitter cardstock or um, glitter sticker and that stuff, you can use the light grip mat. So that's the color purple. All right, if you will be using vinyl and um, other strong stickers, you can use um, the regular grip. 
that's a green mat, I think. I'm not sure the exact term, but that's a medium grip. It's the strong one, and it's not the light one. So it's right smack in the middle. It's just the green mat, all right? So I'm going to use the light grip mat, which is the purple one. And so I'm just going to click on continue right here. And I'm going to connect to my Cricut Maker. And that's it. That's how easy it is to integrate your Canva with your Cricut Design Space. Now, I'm going to show you the photo. Here you go. This is the end product of what we just did. And if you have a Canva account and a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Explore Air, or any cutting machine for that matter, um, you can go ahead and try this simple, simple project. And if you want to make a rather complicated project that's also possible, um, you can use it, design on Canva, and then download your file and upload on your Cricut Design Space. So there, if you have any questions, please do let me know. I'm here to help you out. I'll be sharing more tutorials in the future and i'm trying to find out how i can do a proper setup so it's a good tutorial for you and not just because i wanted to do a tutorial but a rather intentional one so there you go have a great day or night wherever you are bye